All right guys, let's get financial today. I am super pumped for today's video and I hope that you guys are too. Hey everybody, what is up? It's Ruby. If you are new here to my channel, I really hope that you choose to stick around and join the family. And if you are not new, thanks for tuning in today. I have really been wanting to implement more financial videos here on my channel. I get a lot of questions from you guys all about kind of how I became financially independent at such a young age how I manage my finances, how I budget. There's just been like so many questions that I've gotten in probably over the course of like the last year, but especially the last six months. So for those who don't know, I live in New York City. I live in an apartment with my boyfriend that we rent 100% by ourselves. I've been completely financially independent for about two years and I just turned 20 about two months ago. So um, to kick off this new like video section that I'm gonna include on my channel, I don't really know if it's gonna be a series because A, don't really know what I would call it but also I don't feel like these videos are really gonna be like in any sort of consecutive order I get a ton of questions though kind of all about how I manage my finances and still have money to spend on like fun little adventures while living in one of the most expensive places in the world because believe me New York City is not cheap so in today's video I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys all about how I budget while also managing to still save money living in NYC without further ado I'm just gonna get right into today's video and I really hope that you guys enjoy Okay, so I do have some notes on my phone, so if I happen to look at this from time to time, I'm very sorry. Anyway, so let's talk about what I do as soon as I get my paycheck. So I get paid every two weeks on a Friday, and the first thing that I do when I get that deposit into my bank account, the first thing I do is I immediately put 20 to 30% of it in my savings. Now depending on what the amount is that I'm paid, that certain like pay period, it's usually it's usually closer to 30%, but sometimes if I have like some extra expenses, um, I knock it down to 20%. After that, I make my budget fit the rest because seriously, there is no excuse for not putting money into your savings account regularly. I find that so many young individuals who are my age, maybe a little older, maybe a little younger, literally like do not have a savings account and that honestly just like blows my mind. I've had a savings account ever since I earned like my first acting paycheck at the age of like four years old. My dad especially always taught me the value of like obviously treating yourself and spending your money wisely but also saving it. And when I tell you that the money in my savings I do not touch, I really mean that I do not touch it. I have not touched my savings account probably in like over seven years. So that is the first step. I put 20 to 30 percent of my uh, of my paycheck into my savings and then after that um, I have a separate account where I put some of the money that is left over into this other bank account and that is for my rent. I hope that this is gonna make sense but I'm gonna try and like explain it. So because I am paid every two weeks, meaning I am paid twice a month, um, I basically divide my rent into two. And so the first paycheck that I get that month, I like obviously put half of my rent away. And then the second time that I'm paid, I put the other half. I personally just like to keep my rent money separate from my like checking or saving just because I feel like it just helps me kind of organize everything better. And I feel like to be honest, if it was in my checking account, um, it would seem like that money was just there to be spent. And then if it was in my savings account, I'd feel really guilty every month, like taking money out of my savings. It just like hurts my heart. And I really love to be able to say that like I haven't touched my savings in years and years. So those are the first like two main things that I do. And to me, they are like two of the most important things to immediately set money aside for. So after I've set aside the money that is gonna go into my savings account and the money that is going towards my rent account, what's left in my checkings account is what I have left to create my budget with. So that money left over is what I use to pay any extra sort of bills. So like my um, Con Ed bill that goes along with like my utilities for rent, any subscriptions that I belong to. So like my Amazon Prime, Movie Pass. Um, what else do I have? Like Billy Razors. So like anything that I have like a subscription for, it gets taken out of my checking account. Oh, and then also groceries. Groceries is a big thing for me too. Because living in New York City, I definitely don't eat out like hardly at all. And then also like a big thing that I do like budget in for myself um, that gets taken out of like the money that's left over in my checking account is cycling classes and also nail appointments. Nail appointments are something that I just love doing. It's really a time that I feel like pampered and I feel like I'm just kind of taking care of myself and treating myself. 
Um, for some, it's not a necessary expense, but for me, it's something that I really do enjoy like investing in. At the end of like the two week pay period, right before I'm about to get my next paycheck, anything that is left over in my checking account goes directly into my savings. It's usually no more than like $100 to $150, but $150 adds up. So I like to do that on like the morning that I get my second paycheck for the month. I just like, you know, automatically remember how much I had in my checking account. And then when I get paid the next day, I will like deduct the amount that I had left over from the last paycheck and put it into my savings. Okay, so that is pretty much how I deal with my paycheck and all of those fun details. Now I want to get into more ways that I save money while living here in New York City. I want to talk about where I am able to cut corners a little bit so that I can spend my money elsewhere. A lot of people want to know how I afford to take me and my boyfriend on vacations and see like Broadway shows here in the city and treat myself to a nice meal once in a while. So these are a couple ways that I manage to save a little bit of extra cash, save a little bit more, and then um, be able to spend it once in a while and treat myself. I also want to say that I'm of the belief that spending your money is totally okay. What's not okay though is spending more than you have, getting into debt, but at the end of like a pay period, if you happen to have some money left over, I don't think that there's anything wrong with treating yourself. Okay, anyways, these are the ways that I save a little bit of extra money. The first way is that I cook at home as much as possible and I meal prep whenever I can. There are some days that, to be honest, I don't have the time to meal prep for the days ahead, but 90% of the time I meal prep, I cook from home. The lunches that I take to work with me, I make it home and it saves so much money. Literally eating out in New York is expensive. Even if you go somewhere on like the cheaper side, you can spend like $25 for lunch just for yourself. So by making my meals at home, I already save like over $100 a week. If you are thinking of moving to a place like New York City, that is my biggest tip on how to save money is do not eat out constantly. I know this is like one of the greatest cities in the world when it comes to food and all the options that there are out there, but really just try, like even if you're somebody that loves eating out, try and limit it to like once or twice a week rather than like every single day of the week, you'll be amazed at how much money you end up saving. The next thing that I do is I only shop for clothing and makeup when it is absolutely necessary or if it's been a particularly good month financially, I will treat myself. Now for those who don't know, I'm currently on a makeup no buy for the next year until next April. So right now I'm not really buying any makeup at all. So for me, this really only applies to clothing right now. But in general, when I'm not on the no buy, um, I really do just limit clothing and makeup purchases to when it's like absolutely necessary to when I have an event and maybe I don't have like a dress to wear to the event. And then like I said, the other um, exception is if it's been a really, really, really good month financially and I do have some extra money left over, I will treat myself to a couple new items. It's just all about balance. It's not about depriving yourself. It's just about finding a healthy balance of how to manage your finances. Speaking of clothes, another way that I make a little bit of extra cash is anytime that I'm looking to donate my old clothes, I will always take them to a shop that will pay me back for my donations. So places like Buffalo Exchange, um, Plato's Closet was really big when I was living in Nashville. But places like that that will give you cash back for the clothes that you donate is a great way to make some extra money. Anything that they don't wanna take, I just go ahead and donate to Goodwill. You know, you don't make any money back from that, but that's totally fine. However, in the beginning, I do try and see what I can get a little bit of cash for. And then that money that I earn from that automatically goes into my savings. When it comes to transportation in New York, Ubers and cabs are ridiculously expensive. So literally, I'm not even kidding you guys, the only time that I use a cab service or an Uber or some sort of like car service is when I am going either to or from the airport, or if it's like super, super late at night and I am by myself in the city, sometimes it's just safer to take a cab. But other than that, I walk and I take the subway absolutely everywhere. So I really recommend trying to like walk and take the subway everywhere. A subway fare is only like what, 275? Whereas like if you're gonna take a cab, like the minimum that it's gonna cost you is usually like 10 to $15 to get somewhere. So that's how I kind of like limit my spending when it comes to transportation. But also I will say, me and Kevin are really lucky. We live in a very, very convenient part of Manhattan. So we can walk pretty much like anywhere that we need to get to. And so that's why I wanted to live like in the city in Manhattan rather than like Queens or Brooklyn or something just because it's so much more convenient and Every place that I like kind of go in my day-to-day -day life revolves around being in Manhattan. So I knew that by 
like staying there and living there, I would actually end up saving a lot of money because I wouldn't have to pay as much for transportation. Another way that I also end up saving just a little bit of money in the city is when my friends and I want to hang out or do something, we pick free events or like almost completely free events. Especially in the summertime here in New York, there are so many like street fairs and festivals and like just so many fun free things that you can go to. You can have an absolutely amazing day and pay pretty much nothing. I'm somebody that does like to be social and I do love hanging out with my friends, but sometimes that can get really expensive, especially if you love like being social and going to restaurants and going to like fun clubs and stuff like that. So I just try and be mindful of the places that I choose to hang out with my friends. And if there's a free event going on that day, then that's what I choose to do. Oh, I do also just want to mention this just popped into my head, but um, obviously I do make money off of my YouTube videos. I have talked about this a lot. Um, I do make money through Google AdSense as many, many content creators do. And I get paid monthly from that. And while the paychecks aren't anything like absolutely insane, all of the money that I receive from Google AdSense every single month goes immediately into my savings. I have it linked to my savings account so I don't even see it by the time it's like deposited. It just automatically goes into my savings and you know it's just a way to contribute a little bit more to that. So there you guys have it. That is how I budget and also manage to save a little bit of money while living here in New York City. I really hope that this video was helpful for a lot of you guys. If you want to see more like financially geared videos, please let me know in the comments down below if you have any specific video ideas that would also be really really helpful please subscribe and help me grow the ruby rocks the world family if you haven't already follow me on all my social media networks links are always in the down bar below i hope that you guys are having an awesome day night afternoon whenever you all are watching this video and i will talk to you guys in my next one okay bye everybody